everyone. I am Ma'am Angel Ridet Senes from the Ateneo de Zamboanga University Senior High School English Department. I know that most of you already know the different nooks and crannies of the Adzo Salvador campus located in La Parisima Street, Zamboanga City. But I also know that the incoming grade 11 students are more excited. Sadly, the world is in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. But don't worry, the Adzo Senior High School tour teachers or tour teachers will virtually tour you around the campus. Are you ready, senior high school learners? What? Are you ready, senior high school learners? That's good! Let's go! Magis Day students, I am your ma'am Mary Claire Lim from the English Department. Today, I'll be starting off the tour with explaining to you the mandatory protocols that you have to follow upon entry to the campus. Don't worry, these protocols are simple and they exist because your safety is the topmost priority of the Ateneo de Zamboanga University Senior High School. Kindly comply with the COVID-19 safety and health protocols that are highly emphasized by the city government and the Ateneo de Zamboanga University upon leaving the house and entering the campus. Wear your face mask and face shield, bring with you your quarantine pass, and alcohol spray or sanitizer, and observe proper physical distancing. Upon entering the gate, don't forget to share your smile with the campus security guards who will do an initial checkup. Tell them your reason for visiting the campus and show them documents like your identification card and quarantine pass. Once you are allowed to enter, proceed directly to the contact tracing area. It is advised to download the Stay Safe PH app or generate your own Vicestas QR code. Upon completing the contract tracing process by either presenting your generated staysafe.ph or Vicestas QR code or manually accomplishing the contract tracing form, you may now go to your intended office to proceed with your business. Now that you are inside the campus, one of the first buildings that you will see is the BC Building or the Bellarmine Campion Building, which is a four-story building facing La Purisima Street. This building has two wings, the North Wing, which is the Bellarmine Hall, and the South Wing, which is the Campion Hall. Bellarmine Hall houses on its first floor the Adzu Nursing Review Office and the Admissions and Aid Office. The second floor houses the Bellarmine Conference Room, Nursing Nutrition Laboratory, Nursing Amphitheater, and Skills Laboratory, while on the SMA Transcribing Room and the Simulation Rooms are found on the third floor of the building. On the other hand, Campion Hall houses on its first floor the University Infirmary, University Communications Office, and the Gallery of the Peninsula and Archipelago, the second floor houses the Psychology Laboratory and Campion Lecture Hall, while the third floor houses the Nursing Library and the Professional Review Center can be found on the fourth floor. If you don't feel like going straight to doing your intended business inside campus and you feel like praying or just having a moment of silence to observe the blessing of a new day, the University Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus is the place to be. Located on the northwest corner of the campus, the church is the venue of religious activities, central of which is the celebration of the Mass. The UCSHJ also houses the Formation Office and the Campus Ministry Office. It also has the Immaculate Conception Chapel for smaller religious gatherings. That's all for my part, everyone. Thank you for joining my part of the tour. There are still more areas to virtually tour today, and Sir Algafar El Abdul Hamid will take you to those places. Once again, I am your ma'am, Mary Claire Lim, from the English Department. See you! Magis Day, students! Welcome to the second leg of the Ateneo de Zamboanga University Senior High School Virtual Campus Tour. I am your Sir Algafar El Abdul Hamid from the Social Sciences and Physical Education Department and I will be touring you to three locations inside campus. Let's go! First up, we have the Learning Research Center or the LRC. 
This is a four-story structure with a roof deck which was built in 1986 as the United States Agency for International Development USAID grant. The North Wing houses on its first floor the University Archives, the Carlos Dominguez Conference Hall, LRC Garden, Office of the Library Director, Purchasing and Custodian's Office, Mimeographing Center, Textbook Center, Finance Office, Office of Internal Auditor, and Alumni Relations and Development Office. The main library is housed on the second and third floors of the North Wing. The first floor of the South Wing houses the Project's Office, LRC Conference Room, Office of the College Guidance and Counseling, and the Center for Testing and Measurement Office. The Graduate School and Ateneo Research Center are housed on the second floor. The third floor houses the offices of the Audiovisual Center, Communication Department and Complex, Radio TV Room, and the Cesar C. Climaco Journalism Laboratory. While the first floor houses the School of Medicine, including its office, library, and classrooms. The second location in this leg is the Canisius Gonzaga Hall. Like some of the other buildings in campus, it also has a south wing known as the Gonzaga Hall and the north wing known as the Canisius Hall. Gonzaga Hall houses the different academic offices and centers. On the first floor are the Probe Room, School of Education, School of Management and Accountancy, and the Office of the College Registrar. On the second floor are the offices of the School of Liberal Arts, College of Nursing and Faculty Workrooms, and the Faculty Lounge on the Northwest side. On the third floor are the Center of Information and Technology Services, Computer Science Department and Engineering Department, Computer Science Research Lab and Microcontroller Lab, and two computer laboratories both advanced and basic. Opposite of the Gonzaga Hall is the Canisius Hall that houses the research and science laboratories and several classrooms. On the first floor is the Office of Student Affairs of the College Unit, the Canisius Room, the Smart Wireless Engineering Education Program or SWEEP Laboratory, the Biology Laboratory and Stock Room, and the Electrical Section. On the second floor are the Office of the College of Science and Information Technology, Animation Laboratory, Multimedia Development Room, Physics Laboratory and Stock Room, Electronics and Circuits Laboratory, and the Electronics Sections. On the third floor are the Balance Room and Chemistry and Research Laboratory. Our last location for this leg of the tour is the Jesuit Residence. This was built in 1959 and is the home of the Jesuits in campus. There is a room to the left of the front entrance, a garage, and a storage room. I hope you had fun touring this leg of the campus tour. But things don't end here. There are still much more to see and discover. For the next leg, Mama Salina H. Ajibun will be your guide. Once again, I am your Sir Al Ghaffar El Abdul Hamid from the Social Sciences and Physical Education Department. Takits! Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Welcome to the third leg of this spiritual campus tour. I am your mom, Aji, from the English department. Tara! Let's start this leg of the tour with the Father San Maria Rosaro SJ building, which was completed in 2013. This building houses the College of Law, Law Library, and Classrooms. It also houses meeting rooms and other offices. Attached to this building is the University Dormitory. Next, we have the University Backfield, which is nestled on the eastern half of the campus. It is a large field of parades, reviews, sports events, or simple leisure time. Lastly, we have the Savior Hall, named after St. Francis Xavier. This four-story building houses the Ecumenical Prayer Room, Ladies' Lounge, and Home Economics Room on the first floor, while the second to fourth floors are utilized as classrooms. Well, that was a quick one! Thank you for joining my part of the tour! Up next are more locations with your Ma'am Eva May Largo. Once again, I'm your Ma'am Aji from the English Department. Wassalam! Kumusta? A magic day, everyone! Welcome to the fourth leg of the Spiritual Campus Tour. I am your mom, Eva May Largo, from the English Department. 
allow me to show you four more different locations inside the campus. Starting off with the Multipurpose Covered Courts 1 or more famously known as MPCC 1. The MPCC 1 is a roof structure that has two basketball courts and bleachers. This also houses the dance studio, judo room, and the physical education department of the School of Education. On the other hand, the MPCC2 located across the entrance of MPCC1 is a recently constructed roof structure that has basketball court, volleyball court, sepaktakraw court, and badminton court. It is intended mainly for senior high school physical education classes. Moving on, the Sauras Hall is a four-story building with a roof deck. The building was named after Father Manuel M. Sauras of the Society of Jesus, the first director of Escuela Católica, now the Ateneo de Zamboanga University. It houses the cafeteria on its first and second floors. There are six classrooms on the third and fourth floors and a fitness center on the roof deck. Lastly, we have the Costca Hall which is a three-story building adjacent to the FWS building with 18 classrooms assigned to the senior high school unit. Another quick one there, students. Thank you very much for touring with me, and I hope to see you all very soon, even if it will only be virtually. Anyhow, get ready for the last leg of this virtual tour with your Sir John Michael Rojas. And once again, I am your mom, Eva May Largo from the English Department. Ciao! Magis day everyone and welcome to the last leg of this virtual tour. I know that most of the viewers that we have right now are senior high school students and the location that I will be touring you in is the freshest of all the buildings in the Salvador campus, known to house the senior high school unit of the university. Kaya Gina? G! The Faustino V. Saavedra building or FWS building is like what I have said earlier, the newest building in the Salvador campus and deemed to be the tallest, it having five stories and a roof deck. The first floor houses different offices including the administration office, registrar's office, senior high school infirmary, guidance and counseling office, campus ministry office, office of the student services, admissions office, Aguila communications and promotions office, and The Capilla del Nuestra Señora La Virgen del Pilar or the Senior High School Chapel. The second floor houses classrooms, the Senior High School Library, a faculty workroom, a teacher's lounge, and a Father Charles G. Duffy SJ Conference Room. The third floor houses classrooms and the Office of the Student Activities, Publications Room, Social Action Office, a Male Muslim Prayer Room, and a Female Muslim Prayer Room. The fourth floor houses classrooms and two computer laboratories. Lastly, the fifth floor houses more classrooms, six science laboratories with three preparation rooms and a multi-purpose hall. And by the way, the FWS building has an elevator, but because it is better for you to walk and exercise those legs, it is reserved only for pregnant women, the differently abled, and for the easy transport of large facilities. Now that we are done with this year's virtual campus tour, we can't help but keep on wishing that we can all be together again very soon. Thank you for touring the FWS building with me and thank you for touring with us, your tour teachers or tour teachers around the Azu Salvador campus. Till next time!